started, it was a garage band. So percussion was and kind of still is a garage band. Um, and that has been our sort of ethos from the beginning. I'm Eric Beach. I'm actually the newest member of Sub Percussion. I'm Adam Slinsky. I'm the second oldest member of Sub Percussion. The values of the group when it first started um, had to do with pure joy and pleasure of enjoying playing music that we really love. We've always thought, well, if we put it out there, maybe we can convince you that what we're doing is really cool and interesting. The way that So Percussion's repertoire and choices of music developed was very organic for us because it was rooted in a local geographic community. You know, we all studied a lot of Boulez and Stockhausen and Ligeti. It was like the masters of contemporary music. And, and we really wanted to say, who are the masters right here in our community right now? We're as likely on stage to be improvising. Or playing with Matmos or Dan Deacon. Or creating art with a choreographer or with visual artists or with videographers. Or commissioning a piece from David Lang or Steve Reich or Steve Mackey. The four of us working together full time over a long period of time has allowed us to expand together the possibilities of what we might do together and call it, call it music. The group was in a, what was it, a shopping mall or a shopping plaza in Connecticut for a while, right? Oh, the studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, was, it would be generous to say shopping plaza. <laughs> there was a rental wreck in the plaza. front of it, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I think from there, it was sort of like, okay, well, we're going down to New York enough for concerts, so let's move to Brooklyn. Our new studio that we're in right now uh, is in Brooklyn. Um, it's in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We've been in Brooklyn since 2004 when we finished graduate school. Our entire identity as a band has been wrapped up in being in Brooklyn. We wanted to be part of the scene in New York and that's where the space was affordable and as you can see and you will see, we need a fair amount of space because we have stuff all over the place. I can't remember what piece this was from, but these are great. Actually, a lot of our instruments end up being children's toys because they make a lot of the coolest instruments for children. A lot of our personal random stuff in here. Are these even instruments? Yes. That, of course, is an instrument. Our studio is a warehouse. Uh, we have many percussion instruments here, obviously, things like vibraphones and marimbas and things that you would think of. But a fair amount of the music that we play or have commissioned also calls for us to come up with our own ideas for instruments. And some of what we're surrounded by right now are those instruments, wooden planks, uh, metal pipes that are tuned to a scale, flower pots that are, you have to find them already in tune because they're very hard to tune. Um, what else do we have around here? There's probably a cactus somewhere. Yeah. And then, just never know, when we were in Vermont doing a project about five years ago, these people were like, oh, you got to go check out this SD organ museum that's here. And there's this huge warehouse that's full of dusty, old, broken SD organs. But there's a couple of guys there who really, really love these organs and have meticulously repaired them. And they allowed us to buy two of them, which they don't even sell them anymore. And they've become this organ that's in all of our records for the last few years. <laughs> November 23rd, 9 p.m., it's the Saturday before Thanksgiving. We're playing a show called American Patterns at Carnegie Hall. It features the world premiere of a piece by Bryce Desner of The National called Music for Wooden Strings. Um, some music that we're doing with the group Matmos, 
and uh, David Lang's The So-Called Laws of Nature, the first large piece that was ever written for so percussion and a piece that's become really important in the percussion repertoire. We are really, really excited to play at Carnegie Hall, to play all of this wonderful music, and especially to feature David Lang's music in this year that he's composer in residence at Carnegie Hall. We definitely love sharing this music with other people, and whether that's teaching people from the next generation or just sharing it with an audience. This concert at Carnegie Hall on November 23rd is a really good encapsulation of what we do and why we love to do it. And the concert's on my birthday, so I'm sure there will be birthday. Very special. <laughs>